Right now, southern Wisconsin getting hit with both storms and an air quality alert. Alex will break down what we can expect in your first warm forecast. Also, the Boys and Girls Club has a new home. We'll take you there and show you how it'll help get kids into trades positions. And the 46th annual Fete de Marquette hit downtown Madison today. We'll show you what they had to offer. Welcome to News 3 Now at 10. Thank you for joining us tonight. Today, southern Wisconsin saw the Canadian wildfire smoke make its way back, but there's also another weather headline we can get to. Some small showers and thunderstorms made an appearance in just the last couple of hours. Alex Harrington has all that in your first warned forecast. Alex? Yeah, thanks, Armand and folks. Yeah, we do have a couple of showers and a few thunderstorms, a few more claps of thunder and a few more lightning strikes. That stronger storm right now is over Columbia. Kind of, if we can actually take our graphics full there, I can show you just where that cell is expected to go here over the course of the next, oh, let's say, 20 to 30 minutes moving off towards the south and towards the east. Cortland, uh, a little bit, well, just right now at 10 o'clock. Uh, Lost Lake at 10, 13 p.m. Fall River about 10, 20 p.m. And Columbus at 10, 28 p.m. But that's not the only cell that's out there. We have a dying area of showers and thunderstorms just to the south and west of Madison. Again, diminishing trend I'm expecting with these showers and these thunderstorms, which is good news. We need the raindrops, but we don't need the rough weather with it. Again, we were saying air quality advisory for wild wildfire smoke here that's been moving in to southern Wisconsin all day today with all of this gray here. This is in an effect until noon on your Sunday, although I've had some conversations on our chat with the National Weather Service and some of our air quality experts that that may be extended a little bit longer into Sunday afternoon. Visibility's out there right now. They're not too bad, but four up towards Watoma and they're north of that shower and thunderstorm, so they probably are experiencing that smoke. Again, you want those visibilities 10, 20 miles, so when you see them in the single digits four or six that's because of those hazy conditions out there and because of that smoke and we saw that today in our time lapse just look at that haze moving into southern Wisconsin and that pearl white sky we will see more of that on your Sunday some more showers and thunderstorms later on your Sunday and that's the front that I'll be tracking that will give us the reprieve from the smoke and bring us some more storm chances. Alex, thank you. Stay up to date on the weather on our first Warren Forecast weather app. It has hourly forecasts, road conditions, and the latest radar. You can download it for free in your phone's app store. Just search WISC Weather. Well, eight years and more than $30 million later, the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County is finally opening their brand new McKenzie Regional Workforce Center. The organization held a ribbon cutting for the center this afternoon. The new facility is aimed at training kids in the skilled trades and entrepreneurship. Our Braden Ross got a sneak peek inside. Take a look. A dream eight years in the making is finally a reality. I can't wait to get it going. Saturday, the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County officially cut the ribbon on their McKenzie Regional Workforce Center. We wanted to have a facility that was located conveniently for them, but would also wow them. The brand new 22,000 square foot facility will welcome kids of all ages to discover their place in the skilled trades. We got a big giant sandbox out there uh, so they can play in that sandbox and understand, you know, you know, just pushing a dump truck around is just not fun. It could be a life-changing career for them. Boys and Girls Club of Dane County's Vice President of Workforce Development, Alan Branch, says he's excited to show the kids all the career options they have. You can't wait till a kid gets in the 10th grade and try to educate them on what the trades are, uh, especially when all their life people have been telling them, you got to go to four-year college. The center is complete with state-of-the-art equipment simulators, hands-on building opportunities, and a floor dedicated to wealth building and entrepreneurship. We want these kids to build generational wealth. Not good enough to have them make money. We have to have them understand how to invest it. And at a time when the supply of skilled laborers just can't meet the demand. Every construction job is short of skilled labor. Builder and donor to the project, John McKenzie, says it's a win-win. The amount of money that you can make in a skilled trade job is pretty fantastic. Every kid that goes to this program is going to get hired. The McKenzie Regional Workforce Center is set to open its door to kids for programming starting next week. For News 3 Now, I'm Braden Ross. The celebration didn't stop with the ribbon cutting. The fundraiser ran all day and will wrap up in the next hour. Well, this week, Hollywood actors joined screenwriters in the first dual strike from the two unions in two decades. Union leaders say the streaming model that has taken over the industry recently has cheated actors and writers of their share of income and funneled money to executives. With every U.S.-based TV show or film that hasn't already been shut down, now on pause, 
Will Loper, a local filmmaker and critic, says both the streaming companies and viewers will feel the hurt. Viewers won't see anything for a little while, but eventually we're not going to see their favorite shows return, and uh, there's going to be a lot of reality television, game shows, but eventually, you know, maybe they'll cancel their subscriptions, and it will be the streamers that hurt, but they do have a stockpile, so we'll just see what happens. Union leaders also say the move to streaming has meant shorter seasons of shows with longer gaps in between and therefore less work. There's no end in sight for the strike right now. The longest previous writer's strike went for five months. And one of Madison's largest summer community celebrations returned this week. There's still time to check out Fête de Marquette at McPike Park today and tomorrow. Organizers say the music festival with food and other vendors attracts over 100,000 attendees each year. According to a survey done by the Wilmar Neighborhood Center in 2022, half of survey tra takers traveled up to 10 miles to attend. Gone for 10 years, living in Montana, California. I come back every year to work for four days to make this happen because there's so much joy that happens here. And it's for the greatest cause in the neighborhood. Over 95% of those surveyed agreed that events like FET build a greater sense of community pride. And fans of Madison's unique local culinary delights, bargains, and music took to the street today, Maxwell Street to be exact. At the 46th annual Maxwell Street Day, shoppers had the chance to browse items at the annual summer sidewalk sale on State Street. Taking in all the local shops, restaurants, live music, and entertainment downtown has to offer. Also offering a chance for business owners to give back to their shoppers. We try to give back to the community as well. I mean, like $5, we're losing money on pretty much everything in that pile. But for us, it's a way for kids to come and thrift pretty much, you know. For 5 bucks, it's hard to go to a Goodwill or anything like that anymore and get something for that price. So why is it on State Street but called Maxwell Street Days? Well, organizers say Maxwell Street in Chicago was home to a famous outdoor market from the 1800s to the 1990s. So in 1975, Martin's, a Madison clothing store, decided to start their own on State Street so Madison could have its own Maxwell Street tradition. And this morning, the Ho-Chunk Nation celebrated Indigenous Cultural Arts Day. The Ho-Chunk Nation has traditional lands across Wisconsin, Minnesota, Missouri, Iowa, and Illinois. Today, the nation celebrated their culture's arts at the Portage Historic Indian Agency House. The event was filled with weaving and stitching demonstrations, hands-on hide tanning, and more. We offer a bunch of classes at the museum, and really the primary focus of that is building community through both the instruction and um, the students but also making sure that once people learn how to do something, they're able to take that back into their own communities and build our actual community from our museum bigger. The main event of the day, a performance by the Wisconsin Dells singers and dancer troupe of the Ho-Chunk Nation. Next tonight, Janesville police arrested three men early this morning after guns and drugs were found during two separate traffic stops. Just before 2 a.m., officers stopped a 24-year-old Janesville man who they said showed signs of impairment. He later admitted to smoking marijuana before driving and was arrested for operating while intoxicated. Officers found a gun, three loaded magazines, and drug paraphernalia during a search. A second traffic stop occurred about an hour later where police said a 21-year-old Janesville man showed signs of impairment and admitted to drinking alcohol and smoking marijuana before driving. Officers said two guns, two loaded magazines, and THC gummies were found. A 21-year-old man who was a passenger claimed one of the guns and gummies were his. The driver faces tentative charges of OWI, carrying a concealed weapon and intoxicated use of a firearm. The passenger faces similar charges. Escaped inmate Michael Burham is back in custody in northwest Pennsylvania. He broke out of the Warren County Prison more than a week ago. Police say a dog barking in an area not far from the prison alerted one of its owners on Saturday afternoon. A man then encountered Burham and left with his wife, then called police. Within two hours, he was back in custody. Police are now processing Burham and say he will not be returned to the Warren County Prison. The inmate was jailed on burglary and kidnapping charges. He's also a suspect in a murder. And meanwhile, authorities in Georgia are on the search for a man suspected of gunning down three men and a woman in a suburban neighborhood south of Atlanta. Officials identified Andre Longmore as the suspect. Authorities are offering a $10,000 reward to the public for any information that leads to the suspect's whereabouts. 
Well, coming up next on News 3 Now at 10, Wisconsin farmers continue to face the struggle of a drought, how they're using a different technique to make sure their crops keep growing. Plus, most of the country continues to face unbearable temperatures, how officials say to stay cool in the sun. There's no such thing as out of bounds. Find adventure at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event. Get special offers on the 2024 NX250. So if we spend a third of our lives sleeping, shouldn't we try to get the best sleep possible? That's why Denver Mattress is all about that sleep life. And during the Super 7-Day Sale, everything is on sale. Like the budget-friendly Summit Queen. Easy on the wallet for only $332.49. Get a $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Plus, no interest until 2027 and free shipping. Improve your sleep life one night at a time. Only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. Looks like you've been sleeping well. Megan, he's back. The my pillow guy. And you're looking good. He's still feeling good. Well, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we've got the best pillow ever, my pillow 2.0. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you all know that you have made my pillow 2.0 a huge success. And because of your amazing support, we've expanded my pillows USA manufacturing and jobs. To make room for this, we're clearing out our percale bed sheets. And to thank you, I'm giving them to you at close out prices. King size, only $39 a set. Queens, $35 a set. Full size, $29. And twin size, just $25. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to take advantage of this once in a lifetime offer. Get these MyPillow bed sheets now. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on select popular Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. Plus, make no monthly payments for 90 days. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. A diving accident left a young woman facing life-changing injuries. I even distinctly remember losing the feeling of like the water touching my body. See how she's staying focused on beating the odds and reaching her goals. A chance is all I need. Monday on News 3 Now at 6. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. This week's rain was a welcome sign to farmers in southern Wisconsin coming after a long period of drought. But even with improving conditions, this summer's lack of rain has left its mark on Wisconsin farms. Kyle Pozorski visited the Dane County Farmers Market to talk to local farmers about how they're coping. At the Dane County Farmers Market, the topic of Wisconsin's ongoing drought is top of mind of both producers and buyers. They need lots of water this year. How many are you looking for, man? All right, there's four. $3. Scott Alsum sells sweet corn each growing season. His first crop this summer produced smaller than normal ears of corn, going fast off his stand Wednesday. The shorter maturity makes smaller ears. It's still sweet and everything, but you need a little more growing time to get bigger ears. Alsum says the unseasonably dry conditions this year have not helped. Many fellow farmers Scott speaks with have told him they've been feeling the added stress brought on after a wet spring. We're already getting calls from people saying, hey, my grower's crop is a failure. Can I get corn from you? So I think demand is going to go up as the season goes along. Alsum, of course, is not alone. If you can't figure out how to adapt, you're not going to survive. Farmers like Josiah Harder from Whitewater have needed to change the way he farms, investing in a new irrigation system to avoid dead beets, cauliflower, and cucumbers. We have irrigation set up, um, and that's a big investment we had to invest this year because of uh, just no rain, especially coming into July. You know, we really look for a lot of rain through June and we just have not got the inches that we needed. The last time the farmers had to deal with abnormally dry fields was in 2012. 
Longtime farmers market participant Ted Balwick says this year is comparable, but nowhere near the worst thanks to advances in techniques the farmers use. We can irrigate five acres. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of hoses and a lot of drip tape. And so we anticipate uh, dry times. But even with how dry 2023 has been, Balwig believes it's not all bad news. Farmers figure it out. That's what we do. We're entrepreneurs and we have to figure it out. And here's a reminder of how you can support local farmers. The Dane County Farmers Market runs each Saturday from 6.15 a.m. through 1.45 p.m. on the Capitol Square now through November 11th. The vendors are limited by their production and yields, so be sure to visit early for the best experience. There are also Wednesday markets running through November 1st, taking place between 8.30 in the morning and 1.45 in the afternoon each Wednesday. And the West is in the grip of a deadly record-breaking heat wave. Death Valley is one of the hottest places on the planet and could hit a record 130 degrees. Nationwide, about 27 million people will be suffering through 110 degree temperatures through next week. Experts say in addition to the extreme temperatures, what makes this heat wave so dangerous is how long it is and how hot it is after the sun goes down. When you get to heat stroke, the biggest telltale sign is that you're dizzy, your heart's racing, and you're not sweating. The heat and dry brush that grew out of a heavy rainy season are fueling wildfires with 4,000 acres burning in Southern California. In desert areas, it's in the 90s at night. Now, we don't have that much heat here, <laughs> but we are going to get dry, aren't we, Alex? Yeah, yeah, we do, Armand, and folks have dry weather in the forecast. We need all the drops of rain that we can get. We have that extreme drought across much of southern Wisconsin, and there are more pitter-patters in the forecast. We've got those in the three things that you need to know. First and foremost, yellow glasses, hazy conditions. Wildfire smoke is expected through Sunday afternoon. We'll look at that and watch where that smoke plume is going to go here in just a moment. A few thunderstorms this evening. They should move off to the east and weaken as we go through the overnight. But a few more on your Sunday afternoon and a couple more pitter patter chances Tuesday going through Thursday. And those are the raindrops that we need. Again, we do have showers and thunderstorms. I'm going to step around here so I can show you where the storm is over eastern portions of Columbia County, just north of Fall River, west of Beaver Dam. This is not a severe storm, garden variety storm with gusty winds, maybe some small hail. And as we move off towards the south and towards the west, I have, well, it's updating live. I'll go back over here and look here. Fitchburg, you're probably getting a downpour right now, but this was a little bit more of a feistier thunderstorm off to towards the north and towards the west a little bit earlier in the evening. Now, air quality basics. What is PM 2.5? Well, it stands for particulate matter. The 2.5 means it's very, very, very small particles. They're inhalable, meaning you can breathe those in. And the more that you breathe in, it gets unhealthy. 35 is that level for unhealthy. We have reports over 100 right now across portions of southern Wisconsin. And you can see that. Just look at this picture here. Karen from Arena. You can barely see the farm in the haze. That's because the particulate matter has gotten to that concentration, to that level where it's getting to the point where we get these hazy skies, the red sunsets. Thank you, Lori and Patty, for sending us this photo from Lake Wisconsin. Actually, you can see that storm as well, and they got off the lake. I checked in on them. And thank you, Jenny, here. Hazy skies behind the farm here in Dodgeville. Again, we're seeing all this haze, haze building into Mazomani. Thanks, Amory, for sending us this photo as well. Again, air quality advisory for everywhere <laughs> until noon on your Sunday, and it could be expanded. We have, I was having some conversations with the National Weather Service and our, some of our air quality friends, and it could be expanded across portions of southern Wisconsin a little bit later, I should say, into your Sunday. This is that plume of smoke coming in on your Sunday afternoon, 12 o'clock, a reinforcing shot of that plume of smoke coming in, and then here comes the cold front, scouring out that smoke, moving it towards the south and towards the east, so we can say adios to that as we go on into your later Sunday, going into your Monday. Our friend, the future track model also can show us those showers and thunderstorms that we've had. They're going to go off towards the south and towards the east. They will diminish. And then, folks, as we look into your later Sunday, as that front gets a little bit closer, a couple more scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. Just about everybody has a chance, but not everyone will see them. Then as we carry on into your Sunday evening and overnight, that front again moves towards the south and towards the east, ushering in cooler, drier, fresher air as we go into your Monday, 77 degrees. Then the humidity starts to crank back up again as we go Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Armand and folks. 
and that could bring us a couple scattered showers and thunderstorms will take those drops because as we were saying before we've got a dry pattern coming after that temperatures going up into the middle to upper 80s and we'll need those pitter patters to get through that next dry stretch yeah pitter patters normally means babies but <laughs> there's something equally we need right now yes is water. yes Indeed. Uh, all right, Alex, thank you so much. Yep. Coming up in sports, a former Packer made a fortunate in the NFL, but you won't believe how he's made his money in retirement. That's next in sports with Andrew. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Choose Flex Buy on a 2023 Ford Bronco Sport and get 3.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 500 Flex Buy cash only at your local Ford dealer. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my brand new product, My Slippers. What makes My Slippers different from those other slippers is my exclusive four layer design. I wanted My Slippers to have everything you'd ever want in a pair of slippers. When I first put my slippers on, I was like, wow, they feel great, and most importantly, they, they have the support that I need in a pair of slippers. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know we're having the biggest My Slipper closeout sale ever. Get our all season My Slippers and Sandals at clearance prices. They're made with our patented impact gel that absorbs and releases pressure so you can comfortably wear them all day long. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get our all season My Slippers, originally on sale for $59.98, now only $25. Or our sandals for just $19.50. Quantities are extremely limited, so please order now. Spectrum brings us Spectrum One, where Spectrum Internet, Advanced Wi-Fi, and Unlimited Mobile come together to keep you seamlessly connected wherever you are! Why did you switch? With Spectrum One, we get a super fast, reliable connection. And the Advanced Wi-Fi has enhanced security and privacy features that automatically block online threats. How reliable is Spectrum Mobile? It's a super reliable service coast to coast. Switch to Spectrum One and get internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile. Call 1-833-685-4999. When it's time to remodel your home, lean on the experts at Brothers Maine for all things appliances. As Madison and Janesville's local appliance authority since 1938, our experienced staff will make your project easy from concept to completion. Better than big box, Brothers Maine has a larger selection, lower prices, and professional advice to bring your vision to life. On time and on budget, from sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases and feel like family at Brothers Maine. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on select popular Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. Plus, make no monthly payments for 90 days. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Badger legends like Alec Engel, Derek Watt, and Chris Borland were back on the field in Madison today, just not at Camp Randall. Engel held his second annual Battle for Wisconsin Charity softball game, and this year the old guard took on the current football team. With plenty of smack talk flowing in the air, the proceeds, they did go to a good cause to charity, but the Badgers, they played for keeps. For Ingold, who reports to NFL camp in just a few weeks, and for C.J. Williams, who just transferred in from USC, it's all about the Badger brotherhood. And that's just the brotherhood, and I think that's what just kind of epitomizes the Badger football program, and I think it doesn't really matter when you play it, you have some sort of shared connection there. Coach Pickle will talk about, you know, an Alec Ingold or guys of that nature, um, and just kind of how they set that standard, and it's our, 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 our duty, our job to kind of reach that standard at a certain point. Um, it's special to be out here right in front of them and see them with my eyes and kind of get the shake and put a hand to a, a face to a name. 
Top two teams in USL one meeting on the pitch forward Madison trying to retake first place on the road 36th minute Derek Gebhard with the shot attempt it's deflected but there's Nazim Bartman he finds the twine the Mingos took a 2-0 lead into half but the match ended in a 2-2 draw Mingos stay hot on the road taking a point. The Brewers and the Reds are battling for the top spot in the NL Central, and even with a lot of season left, these ones right now are huge. The crew won't play Cincy again all season after July, so now is the time to gain ground. Over an hour of a rain delay in this one, but Christian Yelich was ready. First pitch after the long wait, and the ball goes a long ways. Yelly gives Milwaukee an early 1-0 lead with the solo shot. How good has he been in this last month? Then in the fourth, William Contreras joins the party. He serves up an oppo taco with some extra cheese. The crew take a 2-0 lead. They would end up winning 3-0. They picked up their third straight shutout for the first time since 2013 and retake first place in the NL Central. A doubleheader at the Duck Pond. First place, the Mallards won it. Make that first game, the Mallards won it 8-0. And then in game two, check this out. Owen Jackson blasts, get this, his fifth home run in the last three days. The Lards would drop the second game, so they'd split the doubleheader. They're 8-4 and four in the second half and are back home tomorrow. Do you want to know just how dominant Steve Stricker has been this year? His $3 million worth of earnings on the Champions Tour are more than double what anybody else has earned. But after a Friday to forget, he needed some magic today. Stricker and Jerry Kelly, have one of the two, have won this event each of the last three years. Strick trying to make it four straight. Hole 16, he lays up the par five beautifully with the third shot, and then he'd get the birdie putt. It falls. Stricker had a day. He birdied seven times today climbing all the way back to tie for the lead at seven under, heading into the final round. Staying on the golf course, the biggest celebrity golf tournament of the year lived up to the hype. Four-time NBA champion Steph Curry is the event's leader. And look at this one, a hole in one Armand. We know he has limitless range, but that's a whole different category. Heading into the final day right behind Steph. On the leaderboard is former Badger Joe Pavelski, who needed a cage for all the birdies he hit tonight. Sets up a fun finish for tomorrow. And this you have to see if you remember Packers linebacker Blake Martinez. He made $30 million in the NFL. Not bad, but he's rolling it in after retirement. The 29-year-old now collects and sells Pokemon cards. And so far, it's worked out pretty well for him. $11.5 million in the last year just off of Pokemon cards. You know what? It should be illegal for Steph Curry to be good at so many things. It is. It's so true. But the fun, one of the really fun things about him is that you know, he's not necessarily buff. He's, you know, not crazy tall. He's 6'3", but he just not does Not crazy these... tall. Well, I mean, for the NBA, he's not crazy tall. But, okay. I mean, he's almost just built like an average guy, and he just does these incredible feats. It's yeah. like, maybe if we just tried, maybe if they just put us in the NBA, we'd, you know, hit a lot of threes or something like that. Uh, yeah, let's test that out, Andrew. We play basketball from time to time. Yeah, we do, just not in the NBA. No. Far from it, I think. Although, you, you're pretty good. But... I don't know. I, I'd say our level is probably about as far from the NBA. You're right. As possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Andrew. We'll be right back with a final check of your first Warren forecast. Don't wait until November. Black Friday in July is now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to $450 instantly on appliance deals like these. And low monthly payment options starting at just $10 a month. Black Friday in July is here at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. Looks like you've been sleeping well. Megan, he's back. The my pillow guy. And you're looking good. I'm still feeling good. Well, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we've got the best pillow ever. My pillow 2.0. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you all know that you have made my pillow 2.0 a huge success. And because of your amazing support, we've expanded my pillows USA manufacturing and jobs. To make room for this, we're clearing out our percale bed sheets. And to thank you, I'm giving them to you at closeout prices. King size, only $39 a set. Queens, $35 a set. Full size, $29. And twin size, just $25. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime offer. Get these MyPillow bed sheets now. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. Okay, guys, we're all here because U.S. Cellular has an incredible deal. 
right now you can get four lines with unlimited data for just $90 total. Sorry, just double checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah, it's a huge deal. On top of that, you also get four free phones. Four free phones! Wow, I just triple checked and that's awesome. So go get that deal. Or at least help me clip. Do you check expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Four lines for $90 a month plus four free phones. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Why are there two extra seats? Are we getting two Great Danes? I know, giant Uncle Dan and his giant beard. Maybe a dragon. Twin sisters. And one is a robot and one is a knight. And I'll be on the side of the octopus. Ah! The Volkswagen Atlas, with best-in-class third-row legroom. Visit your local Volkswagen dealer for 3.9% APR financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport. Madison Magazine Summer Restaurant Week is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course meal starting at $30 featuring wine and more starting July 23rd through the 28th. For a list of participating restaurants, menus, and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. It's a perfect opportunity to sample some of Madison's local restaurants. Don't miss Madison Magazine Summer Restaurant Week 2023. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, Bergstrom Cadillac and Chevrolet. Wine sponsor, Delicato and Frederick Wildman. Don't wait until November. Black Friday in July is now at Ashley. Find in-stock doorbusters at discounts up to 60% off. Plus, get bonus discounts on clearance items and special buys. And low monthly payment options starting at just $9 a month. Only at Ashley. Mallard's Baseball, Friday night. Come for the game, stay for the fireworks. Either of you have any collectibles like Blake Martinez that could score you big money? Certainly no. not big money, no. <laughs> I, I, I've got a lot of hats, but none of them really worth any value. But, you know, to me, they're yeah, priceless. Exactly. And nothing here. You got your glasses, though. <laughs> I do have my glasses, the yellow ones, for yes. the hazy conditions. Good segue to the forecast. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Take it away. Let's take a look at high resolution radar though first right now we do have those showers and storms weakening as we speak I was expecting those storms to fizzle out I anticipate those storms to continue to fizzle as we head into the overnight hours and then carrying on into next week some shower and storm chances on Sunday and then Tuesday Wednesday Thursday we'll get some more drops there we go much needed weather indeed much okay. needed rain much needed <laughs> rain exactly thanks so much have a good night